and character design. How do you do that? How do you do that? I don't. Hmm. So start with something simple. You want to you want to design a simple character. You know, it's easy to get in your mind and like be like, I want to do this crazy character with this crazy outfit and this all this backstory and like, you know, all this nonsense and like that's great. That's great. I you should absolutely do that. But but later. We'll do, do that later. Start with something simple, you know, start with a face, start with a body, start with a hairstyle. You can really start with anything. Um, this is going to be a slime girl. So I'm starting with slime girl and I'm just keeping it simple, doing face, body tests, hair tests. I got a drippy, slimy hand because I want to do stringy, slimy things and just keep it simple. And so this one I did. I did start to finish. So I sat down without any idea for the character, did some sketches, and then drew the thing. And sometimes that can be really daunting and difficult, but it's also a really good challenge, a really good exercise if you want to just kind of, you know, push yourself a little bit, like really pressure yourself into designing a character. But the key is to be a little bit easy on yourself, is what I'm saying. Design something simple, you know, save the crazy outfits for later save the tattoos and all all the personality stuff for later just start with something simple i want to make a happy slime girl so i'm making a happy slime girl uh, she's kind of athletic if a, a slime girl could be a athletic i don't know she's she's made a slime um but you know i wanted to do something cute and like kind of peppy so you know i decided to have her waving and like having little droplets of slime flying out while she's swinging her arm because i thought that would be fun but, you know, I, I could picture this character in a million bajillion different outfits and in a million bajillion different environments. And, and you know, there's plenty of time for that. But the really cool thing is if you just jump in and, you know, just draw a character in simple clothes and try not to think too much about it, uh, you, during that process, are thinking about other things you can do with this character. And then after this one, you know, you can draw your character in a different pose or a different outfit. Or whatever but this is a great way to just just jump in and get something simple established because you know sometimes it's it's hard to come up with a complex idea it's easy to come up with a simple idea you know it's it's just i'm tr trying to apply basic logic to this uh we, as as much as i can and i i had a lot of fun with this one you know the 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 sketch process was was pretty quick for me you know i filled up that page pretty quick because like my first little drawing felt really good and I was but I was keeping it loose you know really rough rough <laughs> really rough lines was is, is kind of the key for me because you know I can kind of pick shapes out of something that's rough and refine it and I did a couple different angles some were okay I tried one where her eyes were more droopy and I didn't really like that so I moved on to her you know having more like wide eyes um, and you know kind of like defined eyelids so you can see her expression even though she doesn't have eyebrows because why 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 would a slime girl have eyebrows well why would she have hair but i don't know maybe it's not hair the, these the questions for another time uh but watercolor you know i literally did this in in one shot and it felt really good um just going from concept straight to color and it, i wouldn't do this all the time but you know i just i felt up to it today so I wanted to challenge myself and it, it worked out, you know, I experimented a little bit and it paid off, you know, even if it didn't pay off and it kind of came out crappy, it would have been a good learning experience, uh, maybe a less entertaining video, but uh, here, here we are. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is, this is my slime girl. She's kind of coming to life now, but I want to talk some more about like the character design process because I talk about my artistic process all the time, blah, blah, but you know, when you're when you're designing your your character or designing any character, um, don't be afraid to change things after you've you know done drafts. Don't be don't be afraid to switch it up and 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 don't be afraid to you know kind of try some things that are that are a little bit silly or a little bit exaggerated, because you know if you if you push the idea of what a character can be, you really stay away from the cliches, you know, because I don't have to tell you that there's, there's cliches when it comes to character design and OC design. And, you know, you want to design something that's been done. That's, 
totally cool. But, you know, if you want to come up with something that's really your own and something unique, uh, it can be tough because there's just so much other stuff out there to compare to. It's hard not to be inspired and informed by other characters that you've seen uh, in movies, games, whatever. But, you know, that's that's how that's how the designs are improved. You know, you take take inspiration from from different things. I've seen a lot of artwork of Slime Girls and I've always wanted to draw one. And uh, it doesn't have to be something brand new. You know, I'm, I'm sure there's a blue green slime girl out there with with short green hair and she's happy and wears a bodysuit. I'm sure that's been done. But this is the one I did. And, you know, it's 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 I, I had fun. It's not the craziest thing. It's not the most unique thing, but it's it, I had a good time. You know, and I, I've always wanted to color a slime girl, you know, because I feel like you can get really inventive with the coloring style, especially with watercolors, because, you know, slime, water, it makes sense, right? Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it does. But yeah, you know, it's 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 also a good exercise to just draw something that's that's been established because, you know, it's familiar. It's simple. So you can really push it as much as you want, you know. It doesn't have to be one thing or another. You want to design a sassy ninja kid, design a sassy ninja kid. You want to design a guy that's, you know, is like that spider guy, but he's not quite that spider guy. Design that guy. Who gives a shit? It's for you. It doesn't have to be anything. If you want to do something totally cool and unique, you want to made, make a character that's made out of smoke, I don't whatever you want to do do it because character design is fun and it's fun to mess up and it's fun to try different things and and have ideas that kind of you know bounce off of each other and evolve and you know maybe you draw just this really dumb character in your sketchbook and then you come back to it years later when you're digging through your old art and you're like oh man this is really dumb but like what if I did redesigned it in this cool way like you know character design is is something that's just as ambiguous and abstract as any other art style and I just told you a million different things you could do and <laughs> in totally different directions. But I don't know. If you got something from it, that's that's awesome. And, you know, I, I really love character design. It's something that I've enjoyed since I was very, very young. And, you know, I want to see other people enjoy it, too. And I want to see awesome characters because I, you know, lurk around Instagram and Twitter and all that. And I check out the characters that people design. And oh, there's awesome stuff out there. So... Show me your awesome stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye.